JRW09 here, and I'm be doing a review of some figures that I got at Target, as you can see. So the first thing I got, yeah, I'm late, but Elite 86, The Miz. I haven't, I've never got an Elite Miz, so I picked him up. And I already had the Ultimate Edition Kane, but I got the Ultimate Edition Undertaker. So, I'll be unboxing these two. Kind of just random, but I picked them up. Um, I'm going to save the Ultimate Edition King for the last. So I'm going to start off with the Miz. I'm going to open them up. And this is like the SummerSlam. I'm not sure what this is from, but here's his little glasses. Comes with a uh, one finger up, like pointing for his entrance. Um, for left and right hand, and then the figure himself. A really bulky jacket, but so far coming off pretty easy. Hopefully. You can get it off easily. So far, and yeah, no, this is a pretty difficult jacket to get off, of course. Mattel does a really good job of making jackets that's like almost impossible to get off. There, yeah, it's super stiff. It's cool, super bulky and stiff. But otherwise, the actual gear he has looks really cool. Of course, he's not double-jointed arms. This is from Elite 86 before. Double-jointed arms. Pretty move. He moves pretty good. Has the upside down WWE symbol. Has, like, the curtain and the sunglasses on the back of his trunks. Of course, the headband comes off. Like all of them is Elite, I think. Otherwise, the head scan's really good. But I'll show the other Miz figure I have. It should be easy one. The other most figure I have is a basic, and it's not very good, so this is kind of like an upgrade. Oh, I got it. Okay. So what you got here is, yeah, this basic mess. So, big upgrade. So, I am excited for this, and I'm going to be getting to the Undertaker now. The jacket's super bulky, though. And this is the Ultimate Edition Undertaker. There's always a bunch of tape on these. I love the Ultimate Edition boxes though. How they just completely open. There we go. Wow, this jacket's really cool. So it's rubber. But not super bulky or like stiff. It's also got a cape at the back detail. Whoa. It's awesome. Comes with okay. So one head. The tongue out with the eyes rolled back. Pretty cool. And here's like a normal Undertaker head. Pretty good. A thumbs up. And two open like cup hands and then one open like complete palm hand the figure itself super movable 
like a rubber material. Hope that doesn't come off. But it's like flappy up here. And not a terrible head scan that's already on it. Elbow pads. I might honestly take off those elbow pads because you hardly even bend the arm. Like look. Like hardly at all. This one bends a lot easier. But otherwise, I don't like this foot thing. I don't like the additions. They're, it's kind of annoying. But otherwise, it's a pretty cool figure. Elbow pads are good and everything. Yeah, I'm going to pop this head off. And put on... Pull back here. One. That one. And I'm going to put on his amazing, awesome jacket. A little difficult, but it's rubber. I wish it would have been more of like a softer rubber. Like the cane cape was super easy to put on, but also the cape. At least that wasn't rubber. Hmm. Yeah, this thing is hard. Hard thing, like the almost like do like a button kind of a thing so I'm not even going to button it because how hard it is but it's actually pretty cool stands good I'll go get the ultimate edition king put him side by side so here's the ultimate edition king height's about the same I'd almost say that king's better I think the accessories is better for the king, but this Undertaker is really cool as well. I'd say it's worth getting. Um, the Miz is really good, especially if upgrade from like a basic. It's a pretty good elite. I know he's had a, he's had a couple really good elites. So I'd say this one's one of them. It's a pretty good one, but I'd recommend getting it. But if you like AEW. WWE wrestling figures, any wrestling, make sure to, or this is Jared W09, make sure to like and subscribe, see you in the next one.